All right, guys, today in the shop, we have a zero turn mower. This is a Bobcat specifically. We turn the key, it's just cranking, cranking, cranking. Then uh, I pulled the spark plugs, put a tester on there, there's no spark. So I just wanted to uh, hop on here and do a quick tutorial in case you're having the same problem. It doesn't matter if it's a Bobcat or not. Most machines, are, it's going to be the same concept. So you can figure out, is it your coil or is it something else? This is my machine right here. And uh, basically, let me turn my key here and you can see what it's doing. All right, it's not, it's not firing. So what I did was I pulled these spark plugs off of here and I just ran a tester, like I mentioned before, and I had zero spark. On this particular motor, you're gonna have two caps. There's one right here, which were on here, and you're gonna have one on this side. Now to quickly find out if you need a new coil or if it's something else in the wiring, uh, this is what you're going to do, and you're going to do the same thing on most machines. It could even be a small chainsaw or whatever, but every coil, I'll show you on this one here. This is an example coil. All right, so here's your coil, and your coil is going to have a ground going to it, which usually there's a, a bolt going through the ground. But the one you want to pull off is this primary wire coming in here, and they usually just slide right off. And you'll see this little tab right here. That's how you know you got the right one. Uh, so basically what what this is this actually goes to your uh, your kill switch um so on your coil and i'll show you on that machine in a second but if you pull this wire off only and your machine fires chances are your coil is good and it's something in the wiring whether it be that this wire is grounded out somewhere and it's uh killing your spark or it could be a safety switch on the machine, and we're going to get into that. All right, and you can see the coil right there. And you see the, the little black wire running to the back? That's the wire I want to pull off. So I'm going to get some needle nose pliers, and I'm going to pull that wire off in there. All right wires off now you go back up and turn your key and there it goes and that happens. choke it choke it to shut it off because what happens when you disconnect that wire remember you may be able to run the machine but you're not going to have any way to shut it off because that's basically your uh, your kill switch but what that's telling you is that chances are that coil is good. Being that I pulled that wire, that wire could be grounded out to the motor or something else. So, or it could be something in your key switch, could be your PTO switch, this could be bad. Anything that has that safety feature in it, which would allow, which would uh, not allow the machine to start if it's engaged, you wanna start by checking those. Uh, wouldn't be a fuse issue, it wouldn't be in the handles. I know those, has, those have switches too. But primarily check your PTO switch, and also you have a seat switch here, which is what um, we're going to check next. We're going to check our PTO and our seat switch. Now, you would do the same thing to this side, because right now we're only running on that one side. This side still has no spark, um, so you could pull this side as well. But I don't need to pull that, because I have a feeling I know my coils are good now. So I'm going to leave that one on. And I'm actually going to hook this one back up, and then I'm going to start checking all my safety switches. So I hook that wire back up. Turn the key here. And we're back to our no spark issue. All right, I just plugged in a new PTO in here. Um, you can see when that PTO is pulled up, it will not allow the machine to start. Um, But I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't anything going on in this switch itself. And it doesn't appear that that's the problem now because we still have the same issue. Um, I've already swapped out my key switch. This key switch actually works. I plugged in a new one and we still have no spark. So it's not my key switch. After that, what you want to do is come to your, uh, you have a seat switch here, which normally they just unplug 
and sometimes they're gonna be tough. Ah. Here we go. Now a lot of times these will get corroded in here, but this uh, this one seems to be okay. Now I won't need to make a little. What I'm gonna do is make a little. Uh, I'm gonna bypass this switch up here. I'm just gonna make a little jumper wire. So I got an old irrigation flag here. I just kind of bent it over there. And I'm going to use this wire from it like that just to make a little uh, little jump wire. So I'm going to take this jumper here and just stick it down in here. I'll have to set the phone down. I won't be able to record it, but you get the concept. Um, just make sure one end goes on one side, one end goes in the other side, and that is making good contact in there. Um, I'm going to set the phone down and push this into there. All right, you can see I have the uh, jumper wire in there now and what you want to do now is come up turn your key and there we go and if you tried all of that in some cases you may have to uh, just reset your coil sometimes the coil can separate a little bit farther from the flywheel so it's not making the proper contact um, on this one in particular I would doubt that both coils would come out of whack but on other machines where they have one coil, that could possibly be the problem. Remember, machines, when they're running, they vibrate. And if those bolts vibrate loose, then your coil can uh, separate a little bit further from the flywheel, which will prevent it from getting sparked. So, or in a case, let's say, where you've just power washed the machine, you put it away for the season, it sat over the winter. Um, there's been cases where the, the, the magnets on the flywheel just get corroded with rust. And uh, you may have to take some emery paper or whatever and clean those magnets up, uh, some really fine sandpaper, clean the magnets of the rust, get all the corrosion off. And sometimes that will bring the spark back too. Um, but that, that's been a rare case of that, but it has happened before. So those are just some things to check. All right, guys, please hit subscribe below. Give me a like. Uh, I'm still trying to get my subscribers up. I do these videos somewhat daily. It's uh, back in the season now, so I'll be doing videos a lot more often now. But anyway. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. I'll see you next time.